You know, I'm a little while before this. I, I'm going to cut this off before meaning before like cut it, head it off before they, they, this gets out anyway. Um, mm -hmm. With this stupid scandal that uh, my parents paid Scott Greenstein really to give me this job. Okay, I was wondering because also my parents paid Scott Greenstein. I mean, a lot of money. Yeah, mine to, too. To get this job. Yes. Yeah, no, you're right. And my parents uh, wanted me to have this job. They wanted their little boy to be a radio, a radio star. And was it through phony charities? Yes, it was. My parents, uh, uh, it was through, uh, they got me into the sports department because they made pretend I was a football player. Did they really? Yes, they did. they did. actually take your head and put it onto <laughs> another body? Yes, but unfortunately it was Lawrence Taylor's body. It was not very convincing. Thank God he had gloves on. No one knew. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh... I'm so stupid. I'm like, I heard the name Felicity Huffman. I'm like, I know Felicity Huffman. And then I was like, oh my fucking God, William Macy. Oh, I knew immediately. Poor William Macy. I can't H. believe Macy. I didn't recognize the name. So, I mean, it was. it's one of the great... Meme worthy stories of the year. The the two top names on this thing are Felicity Huffman and Aunt Becky from Full House. Wow. Uh, there, there's just this giant. I guess there must have been a a, a huge sting operation that they've been working for on a year. For, for a year, where they've got fifty names now of people and colleges. Everybody's guilty in this thing if all these accusations are true. That colleges were working with organizations who were working with high profile and rich people that were allowing bribes to get in, getting kids into college through various means. Felicity Huffman's deal is that the accusation is she gave $15,000 to a fake charity. And that money would allow her kid to take the SATs with a tutor as the proctor. Like her tutor was the proctor of the exam in a private room. And she and, and she had more time to take it. Oh yeah. And he could correct her answers. Well that's what it was. It's yeah, it's because it's your person that's in the room with you. And I think she did like four hundred points better when they did it this way. So the numbers are there. And then how do they catch you doing that? Like besides a sting operation, how did how do they catch you if it's just the two of you in the room? Well, I think they had a person on, like the organization is the one setting all this up. So I think they had somebody on the inside of the fake charitable organizations. It's all, it's a big network. Amazing how many people can keep a secret, right? Yeah. It's amazing it takes, how many people can. Yep. One it just takes mouth. one person to sneak his way in there. But that they got there by busting the whole network. Like they figured out sure. everything going on. And I guess it's all documented. And then Aunt on Becky. Tape? Yeah. I think they have her on Felicity Huffman on tape. They don't have Macy on tape. Well, they've got, yes, they don't have, William H. Macy was not arrested for it. Felicity Huffman was, which is interesting. He's not even mentioned in the indictment. Right. No, He's but they were spouse. both They were both in the meeting, I think. They, they said there was a meeting they went to where they were both in the meeting. Oh, yeah, he knew what was going on. Oh, of course. It was his deal. That's, yeah. that's my deal, Wade. But Wait, something, maybe we could say something about true coding the children? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that one, what are you talking about, I don't know right? if that one makes sense. No, I don't think that one correlates. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that one's a, a a minor infraction compared to what Aunt Becky was doing. Aunt Becky had three kids, and she apparently paid five hundred thousand dollars so that her three kids would be accepted onto the crew team right. at USC, get in to UFC USC through a crew team scholarship, even though none of her kids have ever rode crew. So it's basically just like, how about I give you $500,000 and you let my kids into your school? And the guy that was setting all this up, you know, the, the, the middleman, like you brought up with the Photoshopping, apparently there is evidence. I don't know if they're with Aunt Becky's kids, but there is evidence with at least other kids. How does she uh, have that much money? Of him photoshopping. Oh, the head, yeah. The heads onto athletes' bodies. So that if you're going into some school to join their swim team, there's a Photoshop picture of your kid with a swimmer's body, like Michael Phelps' body. Yeah. And your kid's head. And it's like, see? They're a swimmer. You let them in your school. All right, let's let them in. Now, now. Uh, How does Aunt Becky have the five hundred k? Like is she, uh, she works, man. She's still working. Okay, that's a well, lot of money. She's doing Fuller House. Oh right, right, right. But and Full House was a big money thing, and she's been she's done a ton of those made for TV movies. She's done all kinds of guest spots on on series. She still looks good. Yeah, but so plus her her, work. her husband is like a, a super big fashion designer. I thought her husband was a musician slash radio DJ. You know what? 
That was her first husband. Oh. Yeah, for a while she was the... Cut it out. For a while she was the co-host of Wake Up San Francisco. Oh, Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get anything by you. Yeah, she was a morning show host for a while, so this that is was so part of fucking. It too. And and there, there was like they, they paid anything from what the what, what you know the fifteen thousand, and one guy paid like six point five million to you know to get his dumb kid into some school. I don't. At least think... there won't be any lawsuits with this <laughs> for all the kids that didn't get in. Yeah, I mean there could be a whole class action thing going on. Mm. I I hope that I didn't get into NYU. You know, when I was when I was applying to school, I feel like I sh I'm entitled to some cash if they're just letting people in. I, hopefully, all those years ago, this was still going on because I'd jump onto a class action lawsuit. Did this happen in Harvard or no? Because the guy was arrested in Boston. The main guy was mm -hmm. arrested in Boston. I don't know. I really only paid attention to the famous cases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was really only focused on and really. You know, I felt bad for Felicity Huffman and William H. Macy because William H. Macy is such a nice man. And a great actor, let's be honest. We like him. He's a fabulous actor. But I was, the thing that really hooked me was the Aunt Becky thing. I wanted to know everything about what Aunt Becky is doing. Do you, do you know how embarrassing this, because you know, the, the chances are their fucking kids didn't know. You, you doubt that they said, all right, we're getting you in now. Oh, yeah, the guy, maybe except with the tutor. With a tutor, and how do you not know that you're getting in for the? That's right, the, the, the crew. crew team. Yeah, you know what? That's true. You're not like mom. You know I don't play crew, right? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, Nikki, Nikki, Alex. Actually, that's shut right. the fuck up. How embarrassing is this? What a white thing, too. It's the whitest yeah, of things. Sure it is. Crew. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know what that was. My mm. parents tried to get me in on a karate scholarship. <laughs> How'd that go? Not well. There was no karate course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know who did crew? The Winklevoss twins. Oh, uh, it's yeah. the whitest thing Super ever. White. <laughs> Yeah, cause, but also nobody's checking. If you're if you're saying like I'm gonna get in on a football or a basketball scholarship, people actually watch football and basketball. They're gonna go, no, I, I watch the college games. I don't see you. If you're like I go to college to play crew, you're gonna take somebody's word for that. Nobody's checking up on that. But wait a minute, wouldn't the crew was the crew coach in on it? I don't. There know. There were athletic directors in on it, and some of them have already been fired. Of course. Yeah. Were there any university heads in on it, or was it all below I don't know that? if there was any university heads, but I, I know that there were athletic directors, uh, coaches involved. But, <laughs> Sam, you just mentioned that, like, you know, people watch basketball. They're not going to do it for basketball. What, what, one story I read yesterday was uh, some some guy's son, he was like 5'5", five, five, and, <laughs> and, and he... Uh, he was listed as as six one and on a varsity oh my high God. school football or high school basketball team and and he went on a basketball scholarship. Oh, cool! Whatever. Did what? he play? No. <laughs> Did the little fella play? No, he didn't. Ah, <laughs> continued <laughs> success. You're paying. Ah, I got to drop two free throws. <laughs> You're paying six figures, sometimes more, maybe even as much as seven figures, to get your kid in on a scholarship. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? By the way... And why do people this powerful? This is what was so confusing to me. If you're this powerful and have figured out a way to spend your money to get your kid ahead to this level, what are you so worried about college for? Why don't you just use that money to get him a job? Of, well, that's the thing. And if you're paying $6.5 million, that means you want your kid to make $300 million. Like, you're, you're, you have a lot of money. If you can afford that kind of money to get him into a certain school, then it's all about prestige and ego. Like, you feel like you'll set up the network here in school... Yeah. Connect him with the right people, and now we'll start getting into the three hundred, four hundred, five hundred million dollar territory. Yeah, because athletic scholarships are the one thing that poor kids have going for them. Yeah, like we're well, academic scholarships, of course, but scholarships are the one thing that academic uh, poor kids have. And then rich people are rich coming people in and taking and them. fucking buying the scholarships. <laughs> How fucking shit is that? It's the whole. The, it, the, it defies the whole reason for being of a scholarship. Do you think people are going to like this story to, to run with it? Oh, my God. Because there's celebrities involved. It's the greatest thing ever. Plus, it's fun celebrities. It's all day on Twitter. I was looking at Fargo memes and Full House memes. Nonstop. It was the greatest thing. There's this picture. I must have seen it a hundred times. People didn't make fun of it, did they? There's this picture of Michelle from Full House, you know, the Olsen twins. I don't know which Olsen twin it was, but it's this. It's an older Photoshop meme, and it's, uh, it's little Michelle, and she's holding two guns. Right. And it says up top, when you got to bust out Aunt Becky. And it's like, yes, this is what life is about. It's the best because it's two people that you never, ever, ever, ever would have thought would be arrested for anything. Aunt, Aunt Becky spinoff show is going to be so good. Big house. <laughs> oh, I've got one. What's that? Maybe there could be something where you put, like, maybe it's Aunt Becky in the class. No, no, no. The, the people from uh, the program, and they're all gathered around or something, and it says, like, full class. 
Like the class was full or something? She, I don't, she didn't go to class. What are you talking about, yeah, man? Her daughter trying to get in? It doesn't work. Oh. It doesn't, it's not about the school. It's No. No, full class. It's no, full it's, it's arrested. She's funny because she was arrested. Yeah. Well, she actually wasn't arrested. She's on the lamp. Yeah, that's, those are her kids from Full House. They're, they're kind of cute. Nikki and Alex. It's just funny to think are, like... Are they twins? Yeah, they're twins. Nikki and Alex. And I thought to myself... Oh, Alex. If Nikki and Alex were her actual kids, this news story implies these kids are too stupid to get into college. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. But it also is nice to see white pe- rich white people get into rich white people trouble. You know what I mean? It is, that is rich white person trouble. It's, it's rich white people trouble. And when rich white people finally get into trouble... It feels like they really get into trouble. Yeah, I mean, my, I want to ask Tommy in St. Louis how they stumbled on this, because Tommy might know, because I have a similar story when I was in college. You do? Yes. Mm, okay. Tommy, what's going on, bud? Uh, nothing much. How are you guys doing? Tommy, if I was any better, it'd be a sin. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was, li- I was listening to Twitter yesterday, and um, they had the initial uh, uh, guy talking about it, and he said that they stumbled upon it. They had some other investigation going. They didn't dig into it, so it was an accidental find is what i'm hearing so it wasn't they were looking into this they just found the whole network and started rolling with it you know what the fuck is this wow that sucks you stumble on something that big yeah it was they were interviewing someone about another investigation and that person tipped them off about this and they were like to help themselves out maybe probably yeah this would also be a great investigation (laughs) (laughs) or maybe they're kidding They were saying that uh, there was somebody coming forward, or two people coming forward, pleading guilty that day, and it, it just looks like, yeah, they got the guys initially, and they just started rolling on everything. So. Yeah, maybe I, they had for something else, and they're like, we'll give you this. I think, they, give you Lori Lachlan. I think they were talking to some guy from, uh, uh, I think it was North Dakota or something, and he was going, no, that's not the deal we're talking about. No, we're not here to do that investigation. You're doing Fargo. Uh, okay, thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. You're a good co-host. <laughs> you always got my back. <laughs> um, wait, and then maybe the girl comes in and William Macy says something Stop setting about setting up the scene, <laughs> the, the class. Uh, oh no, the um, the suspects are fleeing the classroom. Stop with the class. It's too full. You why know why this thing? You know why it's so annoying? Because of the way you say class. Well, the classroom has been full. Th- that a. Yeah. Might be the most irritating thing I've ever heard. Oh, this is fun. And they're taking test results. And they're putting them in the wood chipper, and then maybe Steve Buscemi is coming in and going, "I'll be a professor." It's not about the classes. Huh? It's the arrest, not the class. Yeah. Nobody cares about the classes. That's good. The test results. I love doing movie stuff. Okay, that's fun. Travis? No, we just got to stop watching movies, I think. Yeah. How fucking embarrassing is this? So so fucking embarrassing. My parents did this, too. I I told you I went to Middlesex Community College, and they weren't going to take me at first, and my father slipped the guy a tenor. (laughs) (laughs) Boo. The other great meme that was everywhere was William H. Macy. Uh, in Fargo, trying to uh, crawl out the motel bathroom window in the last scene when he's trying not to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I bet it said something okay, like, right. um, okay. "Oh no, help! Uh, there's a college scandal going on. I have to escape." That's a terrible caption. <laughs> there's so nothing. Long. Nothing makes me happier than a shit caption. Yo, tell me with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love a terrible caption. It's a horrible caption. Um. Yeah, I mean it's the it's it's the funnest, it's the funnest story of the week at this point. I just love the time that we're living in, that there's something like this all the time. That, well, people who weren't that sucks for people who couldn't get in. It's horrible because like, these spots were taken by people who just had a lot of money. It's like you're already William H Macy and, and Felicity Hunt. Like, you guys have a lot of money. You're, you have every just, opportunity in the world. This is like even if you didn't have a lot of money. Who doesn't want to be family friends with William H. Macy and Felicity Huffman? It's two celebrities. No. Two beloved celebrities. Just donate to the college like normal rich white people. It's so strange, yeah, the it's whole crazy. thing. Yeah, and the, and the more I was reading about it, the more I was like, we just have to, the whole college system, just throw it out the fucking window at this point. Every kid is coming out of college with $100,000 in debt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you got this going on, too. People who can't get into college on scholarships are, are not getting in because rich people are buying them. You have kids that do figure out a way to get in, and they're starting their adult life so far in the hole that they're going, maybe by the time I'm retired, I'll pay off my student loans. It's f- crazy. How do the professors and not know when you they you're... get out of college, 
And there's no jobs anyway. How, how do professors not know when it's not you taking the, Like, I guess some they, they can't know all their students. What do you mean the professors? Like, when you're, you're, in, you're in college, right, and your professor, you're taking a test. There's people who will take the t- test for other people, right? I know that this is not once you're in school, this is getting into school, but is there no way that they register you when you come in to take an SAT or? Well, no, they, they, it is registered, but the person that's registered as the proctor is somebody that you're already connected with. No, no, that I understand, but aren't there people who will take tests for you? Yeah, I mean, I I think so, but I don't know that this was happening here. Do you think William H. Macy got the idea from when Lip did it and Shameless? Definitely. (laughs) Definitely. <laughs> you know, we were doing this scene today, it's like, Felicity. You know, Felicity. Yeah. I mean, maybe, the, the, you know how they got caught? How, did, how do you think? They were all sitting around and like everybody was taking tests there in the class. And then William Macy goes, I'm going to help him out a cooler. You referencing the movie The Cooler? Yes, I am. Oh, okay, good. Good stuff. It's also, by the way, how do you expect. Your kid knows that you bought their way into college. Your kid knows that. How do you expect, when you send a kid to college, the idea is, the whole premise of college is you're sending a kid away to live away from home for the first time. They're supposed to not just learn what's in the classroom, but really learn some semblance of adult responsibility. Right. Some way like they're supposed to start putting adult life together, but they've got this safety net that is the university. If you're, if they didn't have to work to get into college because your mom paid a whole bunch of money to trick somebody into thinking you were on the crew team. Well, your SATs got, yeah. Oh, your SATs are faked. Why are you going to college? If there's a guy, right, you're taking the SATs, and this is so important, I got to get a good SAT score, and there's a guy there correcting your answers, and you know it's happening. Why are you going to go to college as an 18-year-old and sit there and go, okay, now I'm going to start being independent and really working for something? Because they probably justify it to themselves and, the, and to their kids by going, hey, look, everyone's got like weird little advantages they take. If you know, athletes are getting into college, why shouldn't you get in? Because your parents can help you. We're your parents. That's what parents do. How many alumni uh, help their kids get into school? How many people donate to the college, to a wing of the college, and get their kids into school? So this is no different. This is just, that's They probably tell themselves and their kids that like yeah sure you're getting your your uh a little bit of help with the test but you know Everybody. what if you were a minority they'd be raising your scores anyway right or if you were this they'd be doing that for you. they'd probably justify it them, to themselves so they don't feel like i should not be doing this for you because it's making you a fucking dependent lump of shit right and then the kid ends up going to college and shocker becomes a dependent lump of shit yeah ah they don't learn nothing these days that's right that's right back when i was younger you had to work that's, is that what you did no you like jizzing on tv screens Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Matt in Connecticut, I think, is correct. Let's go to Matt then. I, I think it's correct because it sounds right. I, have, I never would have thought of this. What's up, Matt? Hey, guys. Um, I was thinking that with the that fake charity that everyone's funneling their money into, well, when you do your taxes and you write all that off, they're going to have to get them on tax evasion. So there's going to be yeah. a... Is, is there proof they... Kn- complications, too. Sorry, Matt. Is it proof that they... that Those are small... Unless there's giant donations. Is there 100% proof they knew it was a fake charity? I guess they have them on tape. Maybe they did. Yeah, I mean, there's an email. There's a really embarrassing email from Felicity Huffman that, uh, you know. What's it say? I hate Showtime shows. No, it has to do with the case. Oh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) But she gets an email from her school, her kid's school. Or something that says, uh, uh, this is what we're going to do for the SATs. And she emailed that? No, it's not. Uh, it's, it, it is not the fake SATs. It's a real one. Okay. They're trying to get the kid to actually take the SATs properly. Oh. And Felicity Huffman wrote back to somebody, rut row. <laughs> she wrote rut row. Rut row. Like, like, Scooby? like Scooby-Doo. And then she said, looks like the school wants to pick the proctor. Like we gotta, we gotta figure out how to get out of this. Can we see that? But is she that, started. That... She started with rut row. Travis, if you have that, uh, you could. Uh, I ru- do. Uh, uh, let me send it. Rut to Troy. row. Rut row. Email it to Troy Kwan so he's got <laughs> oh it. Oh my. Rut God. row. My kid's actually gonna oh, have to take the SAT for real. That's humiliating. Yeah, it's not good. Rut row, especially in this context. Rut row. <laughs> Looks like the school wants to pick their proctor. Wow. Right. Like I've. This is. I've, I'm being a cartoon character that's worried about things because my kid might actually have to take the SATs in a real way. Hey, do you feel good if your 
You know how fucking annoyed Asian kids must be? Could they just oh test God. higher than everybody? And, you know, and I guess for them, like we talked on Ann's show yesterday about that. I think it's harder for them to get into certain schools because they just, their, their tests have to be so fucking high. Right, because schools have a certain number of, of everything that they want to let in. You know, they have their quotas. Yeah. And then you hear this shit. Rut row. Rut row. Oof. You're sitting there, you're like, it's so embarrassing. This lady from Desperate Housewives. William, because William Macy has to go on set. His kids now, everyone they know knows, like, you fuck it. Like, the kids are all going to get just scoffed at. Says, uh, uh, Rut row. Uh, on or about. This is legal. This is not good. <laughs> on or about October 16, 2017, Huffman's older daughter received a letter from the college board advising that she had been approved for 100% extended time. Huffman forwarded the email to CW1, which is a code name for somebody. It's a cooperating witness. Oh, you know the cooperating witnesses? Somebody oh, on I the inside. It was the network. <laughs> Quit playing. <laughs> she forwarded the email to CW1 and a counselor at Huffman's daughter's high school with the note, hooray, she got it. Which again, like, when you're getting extended time for an SAT. Because your kid is slow. You're not, it's not supposed to be an accomplishment. Like, fuck, fuck yeah. They had, their, they had their, fuck, their kids faking, like, being semi-retarded. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck are they doing? Yeah, I don't, yeah, no, I don't think so. No, extended I think, time is supposed to be for if you have a... Uh, you had uh, to have, like, a learning disability. A learning you, disability. you had to fucking go and, and meet with somebody. So they're like... Is that because she was going to retake it? Because she took it on her own. Yeah, but it said extended time. Ex for extended time, I, and I could be wrong, I believe you had... To meet with a counselor, yeah, or somebody had to say like yes, and in one of them, didn't they say like you have to pretend you're slow? When I like, was there's going... kids that really aren't that smart who are getting some extended time or whatever for whatever reason, and they're faking that. When I was going to high school, Ooh. the extended time kids, it was like there was special education, there was standard class, and then in the standard class, there was a group of kids that weren't in special education. Yeah. But whenever there was a test, they went into another room because they had to get extended time because they had whatever learning disabilities, reading disabilities, whatever it was. But yes, that's why there's extended time. It's, you don't earn extended time. It's not a reward for something. It's because your brain doesn't function uh, in a proper, in a, in a certain way. Uh, so she said, hooray, she got it. The high school counselor wrote back to Huffman the next day saying, now you will register your daughter for the December 3rd SAT. College board considers double time uh, a school-based exam. So the high school is the test center. I will proctor the test on December 4th and 5th, and that's the process in a nutshell. Do you know how members of the mafia must be laughing at these guys for emailing? <laughs> <laughs> Paulie hated emails. You just, you just put it in print, do you? Is that, it's, is it's that the best strategy? It's literally <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. You think Paulie ever did that? No, text me. Yeah. <laughs> Send me a text. Yeah, put it in writing. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Ruh -roh. And then, here Ruh -roh. it comes. Huffman forwarded the email to CW1 with the note, Rut row. Looks like her daughter wants to provide own, uh, or her daughter's high school wants to provide own proctor. And then CW1 responded, we will speak about it. Rot row, looks like the high school wants to provide their own proctor. So wait a minute, so CW1 was working against Felicity Huffman? No, working with. She's emailing CW1 to fix this thing. So the high school is saying, we're going to have our own proctor, somebody who's with the high school who's legit and CW1 is the one who's going to hook up their personal tutor who can help her with the answers. So CW1 isn't he working with the state if they if they're calling them CW1 now? Yes. Which is bad news for Felicity Huffman. But, but hold on, if CW1 worked for the fucking school, no, why did not work, for, work the for the school? Who do you work for? CW1 was was in in on this on the on the scheme. So who does number two work for? <laughs> CW1, yeah, CW1 is, is part of this network. What, what's that stand for? Cooperating witness. Cooperating witness. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So he's sitting there. She's going to CW1 to fix what the school's going to do. And she knows who that is. Oh, no. Oh, yes, she Hope does. That's Carl Walensky. <laughs> <laughs> she knows exactly who it is. She's like, oh, I remember writing Rut Row. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I hadn't written Rut Row. They seem like such nice people. Yeah. Like, William H. Macy is a nice I man. I would imagine Felicity Huffman is a very nice sure. woman. But people do stupid fucking things, Yeah, man. they do dumb shit.
They and they get shit. in deep. Like, what are you doing? He's all over. The, it's like he's on the front page of the post. Maybe they're so out of touch. Like, they live in this world where they think people need to function this way. Like, you hear about uh, parents that spend college tuition money on their kids' nursery schools and stuff like that. Sure. And you, you want to go, why are you doing this? What, what good is it possibly going to do anybody? Yeah. And you wonder, how do they find out? That the fucking jig is up. How, how did they find out? Like, was it knock, just an knock, arrest? Knock. Was that really it? They just got a knock, or they got a call? Like, look. Yeah, they, no, the F- they, yeah. The FBI came in with guns. The FBI came in guns blazing. To like William Macy's house? Yes, yeah. and they got Six Felicity Huffman. They got hit her like the same way they got Roger Stone. So they knocked on the door at six in the morning. The, yeah, they. She oh my God, up, the FBI said, is here. And they had their guns drawn. They were, they, I mean, they pushed their That's way a, right in and a, said, we're getting you. Yeah. It's a bit much. They said it was out of caution. For what? I don't know. I wonder, and I'm not sticking up for them, but I wonder if they realize that what they did was fucked up because they decided not to do it with their second kid. Or maybe the How second kid was smarter. Maybe the second kid was smarter, but they had planned. They were 2017 going. 2017 is when this one was happening. going to oh. totally go through with it, and then at the last minute they changed their mind. Maybe the kid wants to go somewhere else, so they're like, yeah. No, I think it was the same SAT thing. You still got to take the SATs. Maybe the kid oh. was an artist. <laughs> I'm not going to college, man. It's just not my path. So they're only going to get in half the trouble they would have gotten in. Fifteen thousand dollars. What worth. happens to the parent? I'll bet you that the parents get sued too because they were a part of what kept certain people out. They're going to be named in class action suits, possibly. So she got she's out. She got brought in, and she got taken out on I think two hundred fifty thousand dollars bail is what Felicity Huffman was in for. And they couldn't find Aunt Becky yesterday. They found out they I I didn't read until How last night. How much was night. R. Kelly's bail? Hundred sixty thousand. No, 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 yeah, no. But it was a hundred sixty thousand. Child support. Because it that was how for much the child was support. his bail that he couldn't afford? Was it a hundred thousand? R. Kelly has a hundred thousand dollar bail. Felicity Huffman two hundred and fifty thousand dollars bail. Well, they're probably thinking, look, if you're going to pay this much money to take the SATs, you got cash. We can get some of that. Understandable, but just the insanity of how the judicial system works. It's a from weird state thing, man. to state, from case to case. From from A to B, it's crazy. Maybe they feel like people big flight risk because she has the money, whatever. But it's still crazy. And maybe people, yeah, who perform tax evasion and things like that. Because, like the guy said, this is going to be a tax issue because it's a charitable donation. Sure. Maybe those are the people that end up disappearing. Who knows? Where but, the fuck is she going? Well, she's married to William H Macy. Where are they going? Yeah, William H Macy's got contracts to do more Shameless episodes. He can't go anywhere. But she's out. And today, Aunt Becky is supposed to uh, uh, turn herself in. Oh, she's also... They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't get her yesterday. They tried to. They couldn't find her. She was on the lam. She was in Vancouver. Right. Being like... Uh, they got that husband. Massimo. Who is her? I thought her husband was Katsopoulos. No, dude. We already went over this. That oh, was her first husband. I see. Paddykins knows uh, in, in New York. Pettykins knows yeah. what. Uh, you're talking about Patrick, yeah. okay. What's up, Patrick? <laughs> yes. Hey, guys. Yes, CW1 is actually the guy who owns the whole business, the guy who run running the whole scam, because they got him to, to rat out all these rich people so that he'd get a lesser sentence. So he's actually... He Takashi 6 9 to everybody. Around. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. But, hey, look, I don't... All these people, I don't care about it. This is, the, I, I love hearing you guys. It's, it's funny. But, yeah, I, the whole college system so screwed up. Yeah, so some other kids didn't get into college. Big, big wolf. All those kids who play sports, most of them can't get into these colleges. They don't have the grades for it. But they're, they're going there because they've got a special talent. Well, their special, their special talent, these people, are, is money. Yeah, but they're not taking no, anything that, away it, from it. Yeah, it, it's different, dude. Yeah, it really is sure different. They are. No, it, no, it's not. Why? Those aren't Why? spots because if, if you don't let if you don't let athletes into some of these colleges, the colleges aren't going to make money. Like the the athletes well, aren't yeah, taking spots away from people that would be getting in for academic reasons. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah, yes, they are. It's still the amount of people in the school. It's and you know, what he, like George when George Bush got into Yale, the kid was the guy was a you know the guy was a moron, but his dad happened to be president and was the head of the CIA back then. They they got him in. All this stuff happens all the time. Wait a minute, are you saying that George Bush? George W. Bush went to Yale in the 80s? No, uh, George W. Bush went to, well, his dad was the head of the CIA at the time. Okay. His dad was the head, was the, head of the CIA. He wasn't president yet. Okay. No, he didn't go to school in the 80s. Yeah, so, uh, that's what I think. It was before the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it was before the, yeah, it was yeah. before the, it was the 60s. Yeah, it was the, it was the, uh, what, 
early 60s. But you know, you're right about that, Patrick. Anyway, that there, there, the privilege idea has of been used privilege and favoritism, 100%. This is just a little more blatant. Oh, yeah. But this is why well, yeah, I, so I think what? that you, you got to like so just end the whole it, fucking it, thing it, already. It's shitty, though. I don't. No, scholarships you know, are. Dude, hold on. Scholarship. <laughs> Scholarships are different. Right, come on, come on, sorry. Athletic, okay, Athletic scholarships are different because that they actually are using a talent that other people have. Having money is not a talent, man. We know the difference. Yes. Come on. Yes, this isn't the same as athletic scholarships. This is the same as nepotism. And this is the same as, yeah. well, I'm alumnus, sir, whatever the fuck, alumni. This is the same as that, yeah. but it's not the same as an athletic scholarship. But alumni, or alumni or privileges is not so blatant. There are alumni that don't get into the school because yeah. they don't have the grades. Like alumni privilege is not as blatant as I'm going to give you a whole bunch of money and then you'll let me in the school. And the school well, goes, gotcha. Yeah, that's, well, that's, it's, it's the same thing. It's just not using the, it's not being an alumni. They had to pay somebody to get their kid into this college. They're not alumnus of these schools, so they don't have the in at the at the board to pay off or donate money to a building so they're kicking it in. So they, they use the, this other guy to do the same thing. Now, the other guy made the money and not the schools, but it's it was still, it's the same process. Yeah, it is It is true, man. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you about that. I'm saying about, I don't compare this to athletic scholarships or anything, because even though I think the schools are disgusting the way they don't pay the athletes, I mean, if you're a guy who comes in and plays basketball, you are giving something huge to the school. You're not Major. faking it. No. And you spend a lot of years being great at that. Right. Yeah, yeah, you hone that craft. And also, not every alumni gets in. No. You know what I mean? There is an alumni privilege, but it's not the same as the privilege of if you have the money, you can get in. Uh, let's go to Eric in Atlanta is right, by the way. Uh, what's up, Eric? Yeah, a couple things. Uh, first of all, R. Kelly's uh, bail was a million dollars. Right. He had to come up with a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Yes, yes. Thank you, Eric. So, so Felicity so little... Huffman had to pay twenty five thousand to get out. Her her bail was two fifty. Well, R. Kelly's was a million. More than what? Yeah. yeah. If she went through a bail bondsman, R. Kelly clearly had to go through a bail bondsman, which that was freaking stupid because they knew he had another court case. Don't let a bail bondsman take a hundred grand when you know you owe a court right across the hall. <laughs> $160,000. Yeah. Two of you talk, delay the fucking case, and uh, take the money, you know, so the guy doesn't get to do what he, do what he does. Um, second thing, the scholarship, Jazz. The scholarships are finite. There are so many al allocated to each uh, sports program. Um, amount of kids that go in and out of school uh, accepted, 10% plus or minus. So one person at one school does not affect – someone getting in or out right. they were almost like created positions per se so you know there's a lot of flexibility there but scholarships are absolutely finite you get so many awarded to your program and you can't just flake one in there these guys coming as a, as a recruiter for are just created positions like half the fucking interns in uh in your building you That's know right. just created positions to 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 check a box Thank so, you, Eric. Appreciate thank you, buddy. it. Chris, the te this. sorry, buddy. Chris, the teacher knows about the, the SATs. What's up, bud? Hey, morning, guys. Hello, morning. sweetness. Um, so I I proctor the SATs like five times a year. Did um, you ever do it for Aunt Becky's kids? Yeah. Unfortunately, not. A lot of money in that. Yeah. <laughs> like you could have kids from all over the state come and take your come and take the test at your place. So like we don't know the kids. All oh. they have to do is. All they have to do is bring in um, a photo ID and their registration cards. But, like, there's so many kids coming in, you're really not checking every photo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> still a big chance to take. Yeah, yeah. Hon honestly, it's it's Saturday morning. We're, like, all in sweatpants and all over. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what people don't factor in, that uh, uh, a lot of people just don't give a shit. Yeah. You know, you might not have to pay all this money and go through a network of stuff if you can just count on the fact that uh, there's a good chance this teacher's not going to give a fuck. Yeah. And they're all taking different tests. Like, one kid's taking the regular SAT, one kid's taking the SAT2 subject area test, so you don't know what anybody's even there to take. Chris, where are you right now that you're you telling us the secrets? Off. He's in the car, tugging his prick, watching okay. the fucking cheerleaders fucking do their pom-pom <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want my prick pole to do it myself. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, I want my prick pole. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm in I'm in the library. Oh okay. You're <laughs> oh wait, I got I have one, guys. Okay. Everybody, okay, here we go. Watch. All right. Shh. Like the librarian would do. 
<laughs> well, thank, thank you, Chris, Thanks, for, Chris. For, for, for taking time out Thanks of your for, day. I love for that, me up. that we have a teacher who's calling from the school library right now to be like, yeah, teachers don't actually give a shit. He's not in the library. He's on the fucking can. <laughs> you can hear a toilet flush. <laughs> Chris is shitting. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thank you, buddy. Uh, let's go to Terry in Texas. What's up, Terry? Hey, Terry. What's going on, guys? <laughs> hey, don't y'all think this is like just the very tip of the iceberg? I do. I think that there's. I think that this is going to yeah. lead to a lot of stuff coming out. You know, I think that. Uh, I think that this has been going on for a long time, and there's a lot of different oh, ways yeah. that celebrities buy their uh, celebrities and rich people get their kids. Uh, uh, rich people. Yeah, yeah. Buy their kids' ways into schools. Yep. And I think that I think that it's all going to start uh, unwinding in front of our eyes right now. I, I wonder is it going to hit Harvard? Has it hit Yale? It hit some big. USC is a huge school. It hit a few giant schools. Yeah. Has Harvard been fucking uh, pinged with this? I don't know. It might but be I, hard to do. But, but then again, you think USC has a lot of money too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I do know that a lot of the details haven't come out yet. Yeah. Because the guy is from Boston. That's what I'm thinking. Like, has it hit Brown University? You're talking about the guy who was organizing this yeah. thing? Yeah. I want to say his name is Scott something, but I might be wrong. I'm trying to find his name. Yeah, Ooh. Terry, I think you're right. Thank you, buddy. All right, Terry. His name is, oh, Rick Singer. William Rick Singer. Ah, oh, he looks shady. <laughs> think, how, long, how long is he going to jail for? Probably not long if he's, if he's, if he's given all these names, especially if you give out celebrities' names and throw them but under the are bus? Are the celebrities in more trouble than him? Like, they're trying to get... I'm not saying it's shitty what they're doing, but Felicity Huffman and William Macy weren't... They're doing it out of desperation to get their kid into a school. It's it's shitty, and you can't do it. But they're not doing it for financial greed. No, I think, though, that it's easier to be mad at a familiar face. You know, I mean, this is court of public opinion, yeah. not legally. But I mean, legally. Because he's... Gonna, I can't... I, I think that he's in more trouble than anybody because this is all him. But if he he's gives giving everyone up, up, right? You know, Takashi Six Nine was in a lot of trouble too, and now he's apparently is not. Will they kids who wanted their better test scores pretended to have a learning disability? Can you imagine saying to your kid, "You got to pretend you're slow"? Yeah, like my parents said that to me. I said, "I only work on one speed, and that's fast." We all laughed about it. It's a terrible thing to say. It's so stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, you know, after you said that, your parents laughed because they said, "We don't need to worry." Yeah, he's actually yeah, slow. <laughs> this asshole can just fly in and mope it up. <laughs> yeah, we got extended time coming our way. That's when the short bus pulled up in front of your house. And they go, okay, we don't have to worry about Little it. Little yellow fella. That's what we <laughs> called it. Yeah. yeah, that was the problem with you. Your parents tried to buy your way into extended time, but you actually needed extended time, so it was no advantage Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> they, they try to buy it uh, double the time. And they're like, we're giving him triple already. Why do you want to make it less? <laughs> this stupid nose-picking asshole of a kid you have blowing his pals. Yeah, I <laughs> blown his chums, fell his tests. Yeah, it does seem like on some level, if you went deep on it, and who knows if the kids even care, but if you really thought about it, it is your parent having not very much faith in your ability. Yeah. As a as a smart kid. You know? And there's pictures of you the kids everywhere, I'm sure now, because they're college age. I don't know, because Fel Felicity Huffman's daughter is not mentioned in the Statement. Oh, she's not. Okay. So they might be sixteen, seventeen, which means they wouldn't be right. They they they're minors. Uh, yeah. You it, cheaters! Wow, Daily News has a good cover. Jesus. It does become tough. Like you want to, you're supposed to teach your kids lessons about. It, it, it makes it difficult to to teach not to cheat, to be fair, to to earn what you get. You're in school. Your mother gets arrested by the FBI at six in the morning. And how do you how do you go to college after this? Whatever college all these kids go to, even if they're not part of the scandal anymore. Oh, uh, I know how she got here. Oh, uh, remember what happened to her mom? That's right. And it's all the moms, too. None of the dads are getting busted. No, the uh, Laurie Laughlin's husband. Oh, her husband's getting busted. Yeah, Poor he Jesse. was arrested. Poor Jesse. So what's going to happen is every time they go to an event now for forever, like, oh, yeah, you cheated to get your kid in school. I did actually read the statement. Laurie, Laurie Laughlin's, or whatever her name is, her husband was arrested, and the statement that he made to police was, was uh, have mercy. So it could be a lot of trouble. Mad about you. Mm -hmm, that's the one. Yep, you nailed it. Tell me why. You're arresting me. It's good stuff. Yeah. Lori Loffin's husband. Oh, he's a fashion designer. So they were both in Vancouver at the time. And now they got to come down, I guess. And, and Oh, they were told you have to come back to the States. Yeah, you better come back. You're in a lot of trouble. Oh, my God. Imagine that your Canadian vacation cut short because the FBI wants to arrest you. <laughs> Holy shit. 
God, yeah. that suck. We got to go back. The FBI is looking for us. What? And... That school thing we did that we knew was bad? Oh, no. Oh, no. They found out? 500 grand. That's a lot. To, it's one thing. At least Felicity Huffman's like, look, I know $15,000 is a lot to a lot of people, but you know, my husband's on Shameless. I'm on Desperate Housewives. We have tons of money. It doesn't seem like that much to us. Five hundred grand. Fifteen grand is not a lot of money to William Macy. No, it isn't. And Felicity Huffman. Thank you, Reed. How do you feel about your college? Right, Reed is our intern. He's a college kid himself. Yeah, he's a little college boy. How do you feel about these oh, college boys <laughs> being awarded to the by uh, children of rich kids? Yeah, uh, rich parents. Uh, you know, I think if you think it wasn't going on, you're naive to like an astronomical level. Yeah, yeah. but I don't think I think it's wrong that it's going on. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, it's a, wrong that it was going on. You're not the most complex an, statement in the world. I'm not an advocate for it, but it goes. It he goes, said, "I think it was wrong that it was going on." Does that make explain, sense? Yeah, explain I that. Read the, the complexity that, of that. No, no, no. <laughs> I just meant the idea that I accept it's going on. I'm not like, oh, how could? Because I was watching the news and whatever this morning, even listening to it. People were shocked and outraged, as if you're trying to tell me in this country, people with money and influence don't use their money and influence to help their family members? I think people just sure. didn't know it was deliberately happening in a way and that, that like, blatant. Yeah, I'm giving you, here's some money. You're going to fake that my daughters are on the crew team. They've never rowed. <laughs> We're going to pretend, and then you're going to give us a scholarship. Like, I don't think that, I think that people always thought that, obviously, uh, celebrities, rich folks. Had influence. Had influence. But I don't think that people realized that scholarships were, D directly for sale. Pretend so you're stupid. Uh, right. Go right. sit in there and just go, uh, open your mouth a lot during the interview. <laughs> so it's the execution people have, like Photoshop. Well, no, it's not that harsh. I don't know. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I don't think, I, it doesn't it's really the move down it's, the it's the deliberateness of it. So you think it's it. wrong, but you don't care. I mean, I, you knew it was happening. happening. I care, I knew it was happening. I, I you mean, know. yeah, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't know why people are so outraged about it. I get, I guess why people are talking about it, but it's, this is just one of many instances it's going on where the people involved aren't celebrities. Well, like, you didn't like get, you're saying, the rich is fucking over the poor, always yeah. has, every, always in will. every aspect of our That's society, too, not just education. You've never gotten any help in education, have you? No. I've, I've definitely been helped in my life along the way, you know, I'm have lucky, you? I'm How's lucky. That? Uh, you know, I just a boy of means. Well, <laughs> well that that is what it is. My mom makes good money, and I've I've been raised what with your mom certain do? advantages. Uh, she works at uh, Fordham University. Where do you okay. go to college? I go to Fordham University. All right, oh. dude, that, that, no, that's okay. just lucky. Oh, no okay. wonder, no wonder he doesn't have a problem. But, with, hey, uh, stop making. Hey, everybody, look, it's been going on. <laughs> Wait, well, we can all admit that it's wrong, but let's all stop paying attention to it. I graduated high school with a four point three GPA, so I wasn't let Did in you really? or whatever. Yeah, Jesus. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get some kind of whatever. But my mom, we moved here from California. One of the things what happened? What do you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. between now have, and then, I mean, four point three, uh, 4 3 GPA. Is not that higher than an A? How the fuck do you do that? It's yeah, that's like 110 percent. Yeah, because you, know, you, you can take the AP classes, A plus and all plus. that kind of stuff, and they What's add an to AP the GPA. Class? It's like a advanced. It's meant placement. to be a college course you're taking in high school. I mean, because the education. So you're telling me that a 4.3 GPA makes the statement. I think it's wrong. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, fair like, enough. I mean, you, you do, you do, you do come in with that type of insight. And you're telling me that there was no. There was no influence or anything. That you earned that 4.3 GPA. I earned that completely. Did you yeah. get straight A's? Yeah. Jesus you would have to. Christ. Like you could get one B for a 4.3 GPA. I didn't have 4.3 GPA. I, when you're in high school, I mean, your job is high school. I'm getting, an said, a, so. getting an A. I remember I've I worked got a in a couple in my life. Store. Yeah. It's fucking insane. Like, what an A looks like on your report card. Yeah, you go, what? How the fuck? An A. Yeah. Fuck, yes. And then your parents go, all right, now all you got to do is maintain that. And you go, yeah, fuck. Yeah, that ain't yeah. happening. I'm going to get a couple of Fs, and we're going to average out of the D. Exactly. Keep well, your fucking, your, your expectations uh, managed. Just, yeah, your job in high school is just to get out. You don't have to, you don't have to get out cleanly. Just get out. Out. Well, it's such a competition though nowadays too. Like you get a four point three GPA and you're not guaranteed to get into Stanford or, or any other school. Like nowadays, I I, I can kind of see where the parents are coming at, at from this. Like it's not right again, but like if your kids, are, you think they're smart and they're capable, but for some reason they still can't get into the school they you want. You think that this is okay, but you just don't want to say. He he he, he gets it. He he's an advocate. No, I, he's an advocate. He's the nepotism. No, because I don't want to be hypocritical. Nepotism. I don't want to be hypocritical. If I was rich and I had kids, it's not right at all. But you know what? And I thought they could do You'd well buy your Harvard, kids way into college. If I thought it would give them advantage, yeah. Tell them to play stupid in the interview with the uh, psychologist I, or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't do it if I thought they were completely unable to go to Harvard, for instance. But if I think if they got their foot in twice. the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cough well, and then leave your mouth open. <laughs> you don't think that it would leave. <laughs> you, don't think... <laughs> you don't think. If you're going to breathe only through the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> through the nose. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
jaw, just let the jaw hang. Yeah. Let the jaw hang loosely. You don't think that uh, if you if you brought your kids way into college, even if they were smart kids, they would realize I don't really have to do anything in this world because I'm taken care of. It wouldn't be an ideal situation, but I think if anyone out there says that, why don't you just let them go to an okay school and and know that they've earned it? Exactly. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I, I, again, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but I don't fault them for being in that situation with money and the influence. Their kids really want to go to a school, and you have the ability to get Reed them got, in. Reed got help. Of course he did. Reed, Reed got some help. He's, he, oh, likes, Lord. he likes the system what the way it is do? right now. Uh, he's a teacher in, oh, okay. in Florida. He, he uh, is like a philosophy teacher. Oh, your parents are not together? Uh, no, they're oh, divorced. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you think it was your fault? Teacher. It's definitely my fault. Yeah. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters? Just one little brother. Okay. But actually, I'll be the first in my generation to talk about being stupid. I'll be the first one to get less of an education than my parents because they both have PhDs, and I'm definitely out after four years. You don't years. want a PhD? No, no, not at all. It's a lot of yeah, work. Yeah, his mom dragged him through college. Right? He's not no, gonna. I, he's, not gonna <laughs> he's not gonna go to more. Does your mom? Yeah, because your mom probably has no pull in the doctorate school. No, no, yeah, that's what so it was. Be it, tough. it was like, hey, we, we let him in the first four years, but now he's just too dumb. Let's let, go. Let go. With, let him work with a four point three GPA. Why didn't you go someplace besides four? Or I mean, if your mom works there, you get in for free. Right? That is that is the thing you talked about money earlier. So much money goes into this, and like. Yeah, I mean, I would go to Fordham if my parents were. Yeah, I'd go to any school if it was for free now. For free, yeah, Honestly. definitely. How much do you think it would have been if your mom didn't work there? Uh, 60000 a year's tuition oh, alone. Wow. Never mind living. It's 1800 a month to live. Books. You wouldn't even need to buy any books. His mom just passed them through the classes. <laughs> That's true. Here you go. I hate <laughs> yeah, this. You. <laughs> Put your name in the back. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, uh, this student has no receipts from the bookstore <laughs> ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much. What, what what's the most expensive school? Most what, expensivest. What is the most expensivest you can take? The most expensive uh, place you can go for what? Like, is it? Is it probably the Ivy League? I know that Syracuse. Oh, yeah, of course. Syracuse has gone through the fucking roof since I left, and it was really expensive when I went. Columbia, Stanford, uh, Palo Alto area is really expensive. It says here are the most thirteen, ex uh, the thirteen most expensive colleges in the country according to the U.S. News and World Report. Columbia is number one at fifty nine thousand. Okay, so read you. So you're sixty thousand a year for Fordham. How is that? It's not true. Sixty thousand a year. Yeah. Thirty thousand a semester. Yeah. I mean, okay. You know, so was... this is probably per, for yeah. Okay. So Columbia University is. Okay, so you're off. It says the most expensive college is Columbia, and it's sixty thousand dollars a year. That's right. Yeah, I don't know the exact number I mean, yeah. down there. I Here's mean, here's the thing about Reed. You go Reed. How much does it cost to go to Fordham? Reed goes. How the fuck should I know? Well, I don't pay it. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, really I'm, not trying to be, I'm not trying to be a dick, but I know it's a lot of money. I mean, the thing with t college too is you almost never pay the full tuition. Why? You go there, because you your mom always... works there. No, not me. I'm oh. in general, Sam. <laughs> you think that's just the way college works? Yeah, he got you know, in there. You know, most kids don't pay full tuition because mom. He got. He knows well, about the school the same way Bud Fox knew about Blue Star Airlines. <laughs> 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 All our parents work at universities, right? Yeah. That's how. You, that's how it works. Anna Cott Steele loves Fordham <laughs> University. <laughs> uh, Blue Horseshoe is going to Fordham. Uh, Fifty-two. Yeah, I mean, Reed is close. So yeah, it says Fordham University is uh, undergraduate fees fifty two thousand dollars. It's a lot of money a year. Yeah, yep. yeah. I think Syracuse is right around that range too, and it's only going up. Oh yeah, I forgot you. Did you did you have to pay the full amount when you went, or were you so smart you know you got oh, scholarships, all that kind of stuff? No, I was. I got uh, a basketball scholarship. Really? Yeah, not, I didn't even not have to play. crew, not not track. Yeah, I didn't even have to play. They put my face. On Hakeem Warwick's body. I don't know if you remember Hakeem Warwick. <laughs> no, I don't. He was, he was big for freshman year, but they put my face uh, over Carmelo Anthony's body. Actually, it was over his crotch. And they, and they <laughs> that allowed me to get into Syracuse. It was amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. Wow. 43 grand a year for Syracuse. I'm sitting there looking at my... Uh, my empty lifestyle does pay off, though. I'll never have to worry about that. No, you won't. I'm sitting there looking at my two-year-old. Going, God damn, if I think you're expensive now, you're oh. going to cost me a lot of money. Are your loans paid off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to take out a lot How of loans. How much did you owe in loans? Not much. More than 50? No. Oh, okay. No. no. Bernie Luckily. Sanders, 2020. We're all going to get it for free now. Bernie Sanders isn't doing anything in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was told. He's not doing a goddamn thing in 2020. <laughs> Maybe. He blew it. He blew it, dude. How'd he, he blow it? He's just going around now. Nobody, the the nobody's feeling the burn at the moment. They're not right. No. Who are they, who are they feeling? I don't know. Joe Biden was out there uh, oh. uh, hinting. There's no way. No Joe way. Biden yesterday was hinting. Uh, I don't know, guys. Although I also think that like Joe Biden was hot four years ago. You know, coming off the Obama thing, 
but now he's not so hot anymore. I think a lot of people are feeling what Jim was saying on the show not too long ago, which is enough of these fucking old white guys. Yeah. They need someone who's young and willing to like kind of out Trump Trump or at least people. come at back at him. Just tired of old people. I don't want Hillary either. I'm tired of people in their seven like just a little bit how about someone who's fifty, fifty five? Like But Cory Booker's got no real buzz about him either. No, no. Although of them the devil's advocate, you'd want someone ah! experienced yeah. right? <laughs> Girl, what's that? <laughs> No, never mind. What, 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 you know, what were you saying? saying? I was saying, devil's advocate, I never liked the idea of wanting a president who's young, because you kind of want someone who's experienced as well. Like, yeah, I'm a little more than that, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> like, not, I'm going to die of a heart attack in office old, but yeah, maybe... I mean, I mean, devil's advocate... Where did you learn your trade, <laughs> you stupid fucking cunt? You idiot. You fairy. <laughs> Isn't it great? You could just attribute all Pacino quotes to Devil's That's Advocate. My favorite thing ever. Have you ever seen the movie? Read? No. Oh, it's a good. It's a good. So many that is a good I one. Seen. That is a good. Devil's Advocate. Pacino is Pacino plays the devil. Keanu Reeves is very good. Charlize Theron is very good. That is a great fucking movie. Who's the guy that plays running right, around right, right now? Eddie Barzun. Eddie Barzun. Who's the fat? His name is Jeffrey. Uh, He's a character actor. He's yes, in Jeffrey everything. something. He was the guy that was. Uh, Wasn't he uh, Principal Rooney in, in yes, yes, Ferris yes, Bueller? Jeffrey He's something. He's dead now, right? I believe he is. Uh, yeah. Jeff. Oh my God. 